Hello everyone and welcome to my grow tent here. I'm just downstairs doing a little bit of maintenance on my plants and I'm having a lot of issues with my cucumber plant where it is producing little cucumbers but then they are shriveling up and dying and the plant just doesn't look very healthy overall. This is a diva variety cucumber that has the parthenocarpic type seeds so it doesn't need um, to be pollinated it's all female flowers kind of zoom in I'll take you a little closer to show you some of my cucumbers but it just doesn't seem to be uh, doing very well last year I grew a different variety called Socrates and I had lots of cucumbers so I'm just wondering if this variety is just not a good one for growing indoors so I also have another Diva coming here, cucumber. It's got lots of baby cucumbers on it as well, but I can see now um, that the leaves are starting to yellow. So I'm just gonna do some EC tests on my cracky water here. So I've been just topping up my plants with a mixture of nutrients that I've done with the three-part system. I got it mixed up at the blooming and fruiting stage. So I'm gonna just test my EC levels in some of these plants just to see if maybe I got it a little bit too strong. Maybe that's the problem and we'll uh, take it from there. So I'll show you how that's done. So I'm going to start with my green pepper plant here. It's looking super healthy. It's got lots of green foliage and as you can see underneath here now it is starting to send out some blooms. I'm hoping that uh, they will pollinate and produce some Fruit here. They usually do work out pretty well here in my grow tent. I got the fan going on it, so it should be um, starting to see some little peppers coming. So for the EC testing on peppers, I have this chart. They should be somewhere around the 2.0 area. So we're going to start off by using the EC tester here that does um, either PPM or EC readings. So hopefully this is at a good level where I can kind of show you what I'm doing here. Here's what the pepper plant's root system looks like. I'm going to set this to EC, stick it in the water, and you just can press the hold button to, to hold the reading when you pull it out. And this is reading at 1.9, which is very close to that 2.0 zero uh, reading that we want for peppers. So I think this one's okay. Plant looks healthy, I'm not gonna mess with it. So we'll just keep going and hopefully see some little green peppers coming shortly. So I'm now gonna try doing the EC reading on this cucumber plant that's not looking so great. It's gonna be a little tricky getting in there, but I will try to do it and show you what the EC reading is for the cucumber here. The reading on my cucumbers is 2.7 or 2.8. So you can see, according to what I have researched on the internet, it should be somewhere around the 1.7 to 2. So it could be that the EC level is maybe a little bit too strong in my cucumbers. Maybe it's kind of burning out the leaves. So to try and remedy this, I'm going to just add plain water to my crack tea container here for the cucumbers and we'll kind of monitor it over the next week to see if that helps. So I just have water that I've just taken from the tap and I've just had it sitting for a few days. I'm just going to try and bring down that EC level a little bit. So I have watered it down quite a bit. It's now showing at 1.2. So it's a little bit low on the EC, but I think I'm just going to leave it and just kind of see if that makes a difference. Maybe I'm just kind of overfeeding this plant and burning it out a bit. I have trimmed down some of the extra branches just to kind of make it so it's got less areas to focus its energy on and see if we can get any of these little baby cucumbers to uh, survive and keep growing. 
So something else I do want to mention that I didn't do on camera here today is to check your pH levels as well. So the pH level is important because it does affect how well your plants will absorb the nutrients. So if that pH level isn't at that area that you want it to be, it can affect um, the life or the health of your hydroponic plants as well. So I have the pH meter here. I have kind of my ranges that I want to make sure my uh, nutrient water is at based on the vegetable that I'm growing. So they all did check out okay, the pH levels were good, but if they happen to be a little bit high or a little bit lower than these ranges that I have here, then you just need to have the pH kit to adjust whether to bring it up or down. So I do have other videos on this and how I do that. You can check them out as well. I'm trying to give you a close up of what I'm talking about here. Here's what all my little cucumbers are looking like. They're blooming. They look like they're growing. They're coming along nicely. As you can see, I got another one up here. But then what happens is they just shrivel up and die. There's another one there. Lots of really healthy looking blooms coming, but we'll just see if we can keep these cucumbers going. This is my other cucumber plants. As you can see, I have got a lot of cucumbers coming on it as well. Pretty much at every leaf, I got a cucumber. So we'll see, like I said, they seem to get just to this stage and then things go backwards and it they die. So I'm hoping this plant's a little bit healthier. Okay, so now we're gonna check the EC on one of my tomatoes here. This is the bush variety. I think it's called the Prairie Pride. As you can see, I've already got some nice little tomatoes coming here. So these have been doing well. So let's just do a quick EC level check on here. That's how the roots are looking. These are all the air roots. These are the ones that usually are below the water level into the nutrient water. This is coming out at 3.9. So that seems to be an acceptable range for tomatoes between two and four. I'm at 3.9, so I'm just gonna leave that one. So I have a second tomato plant here. It's a much taller one. I've had to wrap some strings around it and kind of secure it from the ceiling. The first round of blooms didn't produce any little tomato plants. So I'm hoping that uh, these ones, I'm kind of give them a little shake and got the fan going on them. Hopefully we will see some little tomatoes coming out of these in the next week or two. So this is my second Diva cucumber plant here. I'm just going to try testing the EC level on it, see what it comes out at. It is at 2.5. So again, that's reading a little bit stronger than recommended for cucumbers. And hopefully just diluting it down a little bit with some water is gonna be the answer. So I'm gonna just add some more water to this one as well. That brought it down now to 1.7 or 1.8. So again, that's kind of where we want to be. So I think we're going to leave it at that for today. Check back in a few days to just see if these 
little cucumbers are gonna grow and um, turn into some nice little cucumbers that we can eat or if they're just gonna shrivel up and die. I do have some other varieties of the Pasnocarpic type seeds for cucumbers that I maybe I'm gonna try starting here in the next week or so. Try to get some more cucumbers going. See if maybe it's just this variety of seed that's giving me grief, but I will keep you updated. So thank you for joining me in my grow tent today. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment, hit that like button, and we will see you on the next video.